right there. Hey folks, I'm out here with these little ones. Uh, I will be attempting to start them in a little bit. But the objective is today is to teach them a few things. And as you can see, they're seeing things for the first time and that's what this is all about. Just putting them out. But they're also learning, as you can see me kick, they're learning um, not to walk in front of me. Every time one walks in front, I'm gonna do a little kicking. And they learn that that's not the place to be. Just being puppies. Again, guys, like I told you earlier and showed you earlier, um, this is my running pen. It's a 10 acres. And uh, I acclimate all my dogs right here and get them used to the world. Everything is new to them. Grass is new, trees, stumps. They see a stump, they have no idea what it is. For you guys that send your dogs off to other guys, um, let them do this as much as you can before you send them away. Because this will definitely shorten the period of them running a rabbit once they get in that new environment. They'll already be familiar with, um, with just being out going through bushes and all that. That's that's a process within itself as well. Spin puppies. Haven't been out only a few times. This is their second time actually doing this, so I'll do this several times. <laughs> but that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get puppies just playing with each other. Occasionally, you'll walk up on a rabbit in the wild or in the pen. I mean, this can be do done anywhere. And like I said, look at there. See that stump? It's new to them. They have no idea what that big knot is. So that's a distraction right now. But once I start the training process, they'll understand that that's nothing to stop and look and try to smell. They've seen it before, so. That's the whole idea, guys. Just uh, get them out, walk them. And like I said, they pretty much learn not to walk in front of me. I still have one or two do, do it, but like I said, I'll kick them. And uh, they're, starting, they're starting to hope these big boots mean stay away. Move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Move out of the way. Everything is a learning process. You guys, you may ask what, what bloodline this is. This is what I formulated over the many years. Um, consists of three different crosses. And for you guys that have them, uh, already you, you guys know still not complete with it yet so I'm not disclosing exactly what they are but the bottom line they're certified rabbit dogs I've had 
three generations of these dogs. So we're talking about, I've seen what they can do and what they should do and how they do it. And I'm very impressed, very pleased. So you guys will definitely get to see that here in a short period of time because just waiting on the weather. As you can see, I'm kind of just walking them. Um, snakes are still out. I had some 50 degree mornings, but that's not uh, that's not enough to fool me out here and put these puppies in these bushes. Uh, but I can tell you it's getting to that point. And I think about 30 more days, 20 more days will be good. Anyway, I'm gonna keep walking them. Let them, let them be puppies. And, uh, might run up on a rabbit. Nothing will probably happen though, but they look at a rabbit right now as like a toy, just like everything else. And what I'm about to do, like I said, this is where that pen comes into play. I'm about to go and clean kennels out and I'm gonna let them roam. And because they're young, I don't think they're gonna venture too deep into those bushes just yet. That's when I utilize a little older dog to kind of get them to know where rabbits are, and where they live and where they should go. But I can tell you just like right now, there's a possibility a rabbit been there because they're sniffing around that area. And it's, it's bred in them guys, they're rabbit dogs. I mean, genetically, they know what to do. And they just need to be exposed to it. Mama, daddy, granddaddy, grandmama, certified rabbit dogs. Field champions on top and bottom. No, that don't mean a lot to you guys, some guys, but it means a lot. When, um, when trying to establish something. It's hard to get a chicken salad out of chicken stuff, if you know what I mean. We're riding up to the training pen. I dropped some puppies in here just to get acclimated to the outdoors. They'll be getting some real hard training here in a minute. Just wanted to uh, let them run around and get used to these different smells. I'm sure they probably worn this stuff out by now. Got one right here. Hey buddy. Hey buddy, where your friends at? Where your friends at? There he is. Hey, 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 hey! There's two more. They're good and spread it out. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey. There you go. There all them little suckers go. And little mama got me a stick. Hey, mama, you got me a stick. Hey, good puppy, good puppy. The guys, like I said, they'll be getting started here. And they, uh, in a week or so. I just left them out for about, a, about an hour. And uh, just the beginning, that's what it takes. And I was pleased to see that they kind of separated here and there. The next step would be to 
Um, get them out here in the morning and the evening and try to locate a rabbit. I'll do that a few times. And it won't be much of a sight chase around here because that's, uh, like I said, my pen is more, more of realistic. I don't have tons of rabbits. I very seldom see a rabbit. But I see the droppings. I see where they've been dusting. So I know they're here. So, um, like I said, I'll walk and hope I get to see a few rabbits. Put them on the track more than likely because the rabbit's going to shoot into this thick stuff. But if that doesn't happen, if I try three or four times in a row and I can't put my eyes on one, I'll put an older dog in here. One of my best dogs. It's probably going to be Titan because he he is 100% uh, line control. He absolutely turns on a dime. So I'll put him in, in here with... Um, I'll probably take three at a time and just rotate them between morning and evening. And after they get started, and I'll let them run in here for a month on their own. And then... The real training begins. Deer breaking and all of that good stuff. So, alrighty, we're gonna load these puppies up and, and uh, we're gonna get back to the house. Had an opportunity to go and clean out their kennels while they're over here learning what it is to be a rabbit dog. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? You can see it when you get in front of me. I just kick. We we'll eventually stop that. So, you ready to go too, aren't you? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Yeah, y'all ready. All right. Overnight, guys. Hey, guys. I'm out here in my towel. Just letting the puppies run around this morning. I have my yellow female right there. Hey girl. I got her right there with the puppies just kind of giving them a little bit of experience as far as going into the bushes. They've been scrounging around this morning already but uh, because I don't have a ton of rabbits in my running pen I will be sending them off in a week from now but for you guys that that does that from time to time. I'm doing it because of snakes. Uh, as you can see, I'm still a little green, starting to turn a little bit. It's just an early, cool morning. Uh, we had a 49 degree temperature this morning, so I felt safe putting them out here. And uh, this is what you guys sh should consider. Just letting your dogs run, get familiar with the woods, get familiar with these sticks and everything else still got a lot of puppy in them that will never change at that age but um gonna put them in an environment with a bunch of rabbits so they will start that process of chasing rabbits and running them by scent and when i get them back they will be in this pen for roughly a month running these rabbits. I probably have about four or five rabbits in here at the most, at the most. I haven't seen any, but I can see signs. I don't know if you guys can see that little sand back there in the back, right in that area. See where they've been dusting and tracks are in that sand. We haven't had any rain in a while, so that's how I can tell if I got any rabbits. Very seldom see one. So I know they're down in these bushes, but make a long story short, part of the process. I've had them in this pen running around about three different times. This is the fourth day of doing this. They're getting in shape, getting all that barking out of the way, that happy barking. And by the time they get where they need to go, they'll be a little bit ahead of that. Most time when you send your dog somewhere, 
they'll run around for a week or so before they really start using that nose and start taking things seriously but I'm trying to expedite that process by letting them do it here and once they get there it won't take them long to start it should take about two days three days to start with this process I've seen if you don't if you take them straight out of a kennel and they haven't touched the ground it just takes them a while to get acclimated so that's what we do here developing puppies making them rabbit dogs okay folks it's time to put these puppies up come on hey 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 good boy good boy i'm gonna show you a trick Hey, 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 Little meat patty. Guys, y'all can do this at the house. Just really make those little shy, shy ones that don't want to come to you. Yeah, come to you. When it's time to put them up, give him one because he did such a good job. There you go, buddy. Get it. 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 Come on. You going to eat it? Oh, you don't want it. All right. Load up. Load up. Load up. <clears throat> Come on. Load up. Load up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Look at that. Look at that. Mm hmm. Load up. All right, folks, for um, you guys that have a problem catching your puppies, um, every time you try to do it, just have a piece of meat, vina. This is a patty sauce that I cooked this morning. So, They'll get acclimated to come into that. And they tend not to be so shy. Just throw it in there. Hey, good girl, good girl. Good girl, good girl. Ah, dog, they're doing more licking on it than anything. Throw little parcels of it in there. Whatever you're gonna use, kind of be consistent. I normally use buying a sausage. So, at the end of the day, that's how it's done.